And this is 456. So, we'll break into a little game for a second. What's up, buddy? But, I know that I make standing up on stage look really good and really easy because, you know, I'm just, just good like that and all. But for some people, standing up on stage might be a little nerve wracking. Am I right? So, who likes being in front of an audience? Raise your hand. If you don't mind being in front of an audience. Maddie, oh really? Okay. What about the idea of being on stage in front of people makes you pee yourself a little? Who's that? Right there? Yeah? Maddie, everybody turn to look at Maddie. Her back there? She's really scared. She will not get on this stage right here. So this month, we're talking about courage, okay? And if you raise your hand for the second question, if it scares you to be on stage, I'm not going to make you come on stage, but by the end of this month, I want you to be part of my game that we play, or for you to be on stage worshiping with Will Smith after we play the game, to step out and have courage and to get on this stage, okay? Can y'all do that for me? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. I like that. Maddie said she will start and lead by example. I appreciate that, Maddie. Okay. So, I need three people for my game, but you cannot be the shy people because this game is probably going to be embarrassing. You're going to be standing on stage in front of people. So, you're not scared. I got you right here. Yes. And you're not scared. I got you right here. And you're not scared. I got you right here. I got my four people. My God, what happened to your foot? I fractured my heel plate. He fractured his heel plate. Everybody say, oh. We hope you get better. So, how we play my game is I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have 12 cards up here, okay? Y'all are going to take turns. You're just going to go through them, okay? I have eight of them that you can see. And then these four right here are turned over. So you can take your choice. You can pick from the ones that you can see. Or you can be brave and pick from the ones that you have no idea what they are. Now, are any of y'all allergic to anything? Uh, even then? What are you allergic to? Dairy. Good. Don't pick one of those cards then. No, I'm just kidding. There's no dairy. Um, sweet. Are you afraid of chili? Maybe. Maybe. I like that. Good. Um, so who wants to go first? You want to go ladies first? Ladies first? Alright. Knock it out. Pick one. These four uh, secrets. You want to do that one? Alright. So she has 10 jumping jacks. I'll take that card. So now I've got 10 jumping jacks for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Four. Woo! Okay. You next? My God, you're next. My God, you're next. Choose why. Oh, come on. He's going with the cheerleading jump. The cheerleading. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell a joke? He wants to tell a joke. Give me your best joke. <laughs> no, that joke. Oh, yeah. that joke. You have to make me laugh. You have to be clean. Yeah, you have to tall order. You have to make Maddie laugh. And that's hard. Just thank you, one. Thank no, you. she has to make he has to make my my phone laugh. No, we'll take the joke. We gotta take the joke. Take the joke. Here. Uh, uh, what if we 
Alright, who can tell me a good joke? Yes, right here. Everybody? Yes? No, no. Who says? Action. Bless you. How's it going? You got one right there. Give me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana. Who's there? Banana. 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 Who's there? Orange. 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 Yes, I am. That was good. One. That was good. One. All right. Pick a different. Pick a different. You want a break game? Okay. Okay. Give, give him some space. Break game is coming back. Here's some Fortnite moves for him. Go for it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Peyton, you're up. We have eight cards left. Let's go default. Choose what? Oh. Oh. She went with one that was turned over. Do a somersault. Uh, I can't do that. You can't. Can. All right, we'll turn that one back up. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Well, then. How do I look here? You want? Okay, okay. Let's see if y'all can guess what she's doing. Oh, oh, you know what that is? You know what that is? Alright, hit him with it. Hit him with it. Come on, click your box. Hey! That's a good one. Yeah, she was stuck in a box. My guy, you're next. Which would you like to do? He's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you know what that is? Alright, go for it, my guy. You want a mic? <laughs> you have to, you have to. You don't want to? Come on. Come on, Andy. 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 I'll do it with you, okay? I'll do it with you. Ready? One, two, three. Yoda! 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 Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah. 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 What goes? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and pour me out. Here is my handle. Here is my stout. Tip me over and pour me out. Yeah? So we will sing it with you and we'll do the hey, we'll do the motions together, okay? All right, help me sing I'm a Little Teapot, and Peyton and I are going to do the motions, okay? Because I definitely remember the motions I'm a Little Teapot. All right, y'all ready? Help me sing. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand, oh, here is my style. When I get moved up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me. Yeah. 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 Alright, we can go through one more, one more uh, round, and then I think we're going to have a guest for our last one, okay? And Will Smith looks like a great person to do the last one. So, y'all go for it. If it's anything that works. Well, if it's something I've got to do. Okay. 
You're going to make an impression of a host or a SGL. What's that? Small group Yes, do your best impression of a small group leader or a host. I'll do that host. Do your best impression. You know how to do an impression? Hit me with an impression of somebody. No, I'm not. That was. I feel like I'm better than that. That's accurate. Okay, everyone. Okay. Hit me with one, my guy. Recite a Bible verse. Thank you. Everybody give me a hand. Can I get the verse of the Bible on the screen, please? Look over there and just remember one, all right? He's going to be reciting, I think it's Joshua 1 9. Hit me with it. Be shy. 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 Do you know John 3.16? I do. Are you doing that? Do you know John 3.16? For God to love the world and every one and only son. That's a good verse to know. And it's arguably one of the easiest. Next time you ever have that question asked, you recite a verse, the shortest verse in the Bible. Are you ready for it? God wept. Remember that. It's the easiest verse you can remember right there. So, next one. I did not hear any questions or anything like that. So, uh, do you want to uh, pick or do you want to make Will Smith right there in the green shirt pick between those two? You want to do it? Well, she saved you, but I got good news for you. No matter which one she picks, there's still one left. And... They're both interesting for sure. Well, Riley, I have a question. What's your question there, sir? I'm fine with your opinion on saying, but we're talking about courage. So I okay. Think, I think Maddie. <laughs> you think Maddie should? Uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> Well, why don't you show Maddie how it's done? Just for the first month, first week. Okay. All right, which one do you want? This one is interesting, and this one is interesting. Er. Oh, she did it. She did it. Can you do that? You I can't do that? I can't. Can you do that one? I can do it. I can do it. My guy, my guy wants to do this one. You want to do this one? You want to do that one? Go. Just hit it. <laughs> can I get a new mic, please? I want a new mic. All right, Will Smith, I need you up here. No, no. You're going to get to sing a Christmas carol. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tell me to hurt my ear. One or something like that. I want you to sing until everybody in this room joins along. So nobody join along. No. All right, show me. Show me something. First of all, I got, I got a little chance. Got a little jug for you. Oh, he's got a jug, okay. So this is a little Steve knows this, I already said it. Y'all try to know this, but it's a little it's a little common just singing all these Christmas songs in October because you're rushing it. <laughs> That's good, you don't get it. Tommy knows. Tommy knows. Tommy knows. You're rushing it. I get that, I get that, I get that. That's good. <laughs> Alright. Maybe with the Christmas carol. What should I sing? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes. Jingle. Jingle. bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want you to sing any more. Any more. 
You didn't say? I'm sorry. Give my volunteers a hand. Now, give you good job again. Unless you want to stay on stage for worship. Mr. Will Smith, everybody give up a hand for our favorite worship singer and Christmas Carolyn Will Smith. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Should we clap for Riley? Yeah, Riley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so y'all ready for some worship? Yeah. yeah. Let's all stand up. Let's all stand up. Let's, get, let's, let's have some fun on this, on this song. Let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. How is everyone today? Good. 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 Just good. 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 I told you to go to Fall Break. Yeah! Yes. Oh, yes. Isn't that be great? Oh, no, you're not excited like y'all in my school. Like, it's nice if y'all do, but y'all do not seem excited about Fall Break. I'm not, because I have to wear this boot to the, to, to the beach. That is sad. However, you still get to go to the beach, which is awesome. Um, so I have a question. I, I, got, a, I got a question for you guys. I need y'all to, need y'all to be real with me. How many of y'all are scared of things? Oh. Okay, everyone should be raising their hand. That's all I'm saying. I'm terrified of things. I know y'all are scared of some things. Maybe it's being on stage. Maybe it's heights. I'm terrified of heights. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spiders, snakes. Tell me something. What's your, right there, what's the fear you have? Um, spiders and heights, it's not the height. It's not the fear of heights, it's the fear of falling. It's a certain spot. Oh. The dark blue. <laughs> there are spooky things in the dark, yes? <laughs> Everything. I can relate to that. How do you get back? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Shh. Repeat that. Ooh, don't get me started on clowns. I don't know who thinks those are funny, but those are terrifying. Yeah, so a lot of us have fears, right? We're afraid of things. So we're going to start things a little bit different. We kind of have two, two games today. So I have some things over here. And I need y'all's help, okay? So I'm going to pass out. A whiteboard okay. and some markers. Some markers, these guys, okay? So, this, these two rows right here, y'all are teams, so take one, just take one. This row is going to be a team. This row is going to be a team. Y'all will be a team. Y'all will be a team. And then all of y'all are going to be a team. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take. The name of some fears, or does anybody know like the fancy scientific word for fears? Phobias. So they're all phobias. So we're going to take those phobias, we're going to put them on the screen, and you are going to work with your team real quick, and you're going to figure out the name or what that phobia is. So for our first phobia, we have, what's our first phobia up there? Bibliophobia. So, take your, your pad, write down, discuss amongst each other what you think bibliophobia means, and then write it down and we'll see if you're right. You've got 15 seconds. What? Wait, what do you think? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody hold up their boards. Let me see what we got. Fear of books. Fear of the Bible. Fear of the Bible. Okay. Fear of books. What do you got right here? Oh, we're erasing it. Um, nothing. Nothing. No guesses here. Uh, oh, we're scrolling down books real quick. All right, let's see. Let's see what's people up yet. It's the fear of books. Good job, guys, everybody. Uh, uh, right? Amazing. Let's see what our next one is. Our next question is... Microphobia. Are you scared of microphones? Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's what I thought. Cheater! Better not be cheap. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Microphobia, we have the fear of small things, the fear of small things, the fear of small things, 
Microphobia. Scared to speak in a microphone. That's a good one right there. Microphone, microphobia. What's your back there? Fear microphones. Fear of microphones. The fear of small things. Let's see, microphobia means the fear of small things. Good job. Let's see, y'all got it. The next one. Pedophobia. Pedophobia means. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Let me see the fear of other people, the fear of people. The fear of pets. The fear of children. Maddie, you're cheating. Get out of here. Quit helping them. The fear of pedaling. The fear of. Alright, pedophobia means the fear of children. That's correct, Maddie. You're not allowed to help that team anymore. Alright, the next question. Pedophobia means. 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 Five, four, two, one. All right, let's see. The fear of cameras, the fear of photos, the fear of photos, the fear of feet. The fear of copying them. I saw you copying them. The fear of being right. Potophobia means fear of feet. Who got potophobia over here? Let me see. Let me see. Who doesn't like feet? Down here? Down here? Potophobia? Anybody? Anybody? I bet this is potophobia over here. Alright, do we have another one? Alright, technophobia. Let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Fear of technology. Scared of electronics. Fear of technology. Fear of technology. Fear of technology. Fear of technology. Let's see if they got it right. That word up there, what does that one mean? Alright, everybody, some of your answers. Fear of falling, fear of nothing. Fear of failing, fear of addicts. Okay, that's good. Fear of what? What did you say? Acting. Acting, alright. The fear of chips. Yes. Let's see. The fear of failure. Fear of failure. A lot of that. A lot of us are afraid of falling. So that's that's it. I'm going to take your boards and your markers. That's the last question. Not in one round. How many of y'all got three right? Raise your hand. How many of y'all got four right? Alright, guys, over here, let me see it. Parker, thank you. How many of you have got four right? Four? Did anybody get five right? Nope. Wait, wait, how many were the. I don't know, I'm just asking. Well, we got all the ones. Y'all did great. Anyway, so that was a list of kind of random fears. There's a lot of phobias and fears in the world. But, alright, guys, right here. What does fear stop us from doing? 
Yes. Accomplishing yeah. things. Yeah. So fear stops us from doing the things. Like if you're afraid of heights, you might <laughs> not, not, not ride the light. If you're afraid of clowns, you might not that's enjoy the circus. So that's not as important, right? It's not important really to like ride a roller coaster. Shh, right here, guys. It's not really important to ride a roller coaster or go to the circus, right? That's not going to change somebody's lives. But what about something that is important? Maybe there's a bully at your school and you need to stand up to him. Maybe he's bullying your friends. Or maybe you need to have a conversation with somebody and it's going to be kind of hard. You don't want to say what you want to say. Yes, Peyton. If you're scared of fear, it can stop you from doing stuff with your family and stuff. Exactly. Maybe um, you and your mom or your dad just got in a fight and you need to go apologize. But if you're afraid of that, you're not going to do that, right? So the things that don't matter, it's okay. But when it comes to things that do, we need to do something about it, right? How do we overcome fear? How do we get courage? Well, what's one of the best sources when we need to figure something out? Somebody yell out. Bible. The Bible. That's right. So I have a question. Who we've been talking about the last couple of weeks? We've kind of been everywhere, but the last few weeks, who we've been talking about? Let's see. Abraham. Then who? Joseph. Right. So what happened to Joseph? So the slavery. Then what? He was the favorite child. He was the favorite child. Yeah, so eventually he became the ruler of Egypt, right? A long, complicated story of backstabbing and betrayal and forgiveness and awesome, super cool stories, right? That leads up to Joseph being second in command of all of Egypt, which is crazy because Egypt was, like, super powerful. So, what ended up happening was there was a famine, right? And what did Joseph's family do after that? They all moved to Egypt, right? So when they moved to Egypt, they moved because of the famine, so they ended up having a ton to eat. Okay. Sounds about right. Tons of eating. They had plenty of food because I don't like that noise. If you all want to know something about me, I have a eating a phobia. I do not like the sound of people eating. But they had plenty to eat. They enjoyed it. They didn't have to worry about it. But you all remember how big Joseph's family was? It was really big, right? Like 12 of them, right? So imagine 12 of them, and they get married, right? And then they have kids. And then their kids have kids. And then their kids have kids. And there's all of a sudden, there's a ton of Abraham's kids with a ton of kids and grandkids and great-grandkids. Next thing you know, there was a huge nation. Thousands and thousands of Israelites is what they were called. And they grew big. Well, as they grew big, the pharaohs, right? They grew old and they died. And then the next one came up. He grew old and he grew and he died. And eventually they forgot about Joseph. And they forgot about God and all the amazing things that happened. And so you have a pharaoh who doesn't remember Joseph. And you have a huge group of people. And the pharaoh was kind of scared of those people, right? Like what if they wanted to overthrow Egypt? So he put them into slavery. Pick up that phrase. No, we aren't taking breaks. Faster, faster! What is he doing? That doesn't sound too good. Huh? So basically, all of the Israelites got put into slavery because the Pharaoh was afraid of them, right? And I don't know about you guys, but slavery does not sound fun like that. There were whippings, they couldn't take breaks, they had to work all day and all night. And that's just not a good place to be, right? But that wasn't enough. The Israelites kept growing bigger and bigger. So, the Pharaoh had to take drastic measures. He said every baby boy had to be thrown into the Nile River. Ooh, that's tough. Nile <laughs> so basically, all the baby boys were thrown into the river. They had to be killed because the pharaoh was scared of them, right? But there was a woman named Jochebed, 
and she had a son, and she wasn't going to move up as easily as other people. So she hit him. So she hit him in the back. And I don't know about you guys, I don't know if y'all have any younger siblings, but what's something babies do a lot? Cry. Cry. And all they do is cry and eat and poop. So they're smelly, they're loud, and you have to take care of them. Now, you can imagine if you're trying to hide a smelly, loud, crying baby, it gets really hard. So for Jochebed, this got really hard. So let's see. <laughs> Sounds about right. So, what could Jochebed do? She was kind of stuck in an awkward situation, right? She had this baby that she loved. It was her baby. She loved it so much. But at the same time, she was breaking the law. She could be taken away from the rest of her family. She could leave all her other kids. So she had to do something. So, she ended up taking a basket, right? And she covered it in tar so that it was waterproof. And she put that baby in there. And she floated him down the Nile River in a huge leap of trust. So here's the thing. The baby floating down the river wasn't the only kid that Jochebed had, right? She had an older sister named Miriam. Now Miriam decided that she was going to watch closely as the baby floated down. She wanted to see what would happen to make sure it was okay, right? So, as the baby's floating down the Nile River, somebody noticed her. And this isn't just any person, right? This is actually the Pharaoh's daughter. So she's pretty much a princess, right? The princess of Egypt. She notices this baby. And so she's like, hey, hey, bring me the baby. Like, why is there a baby in the river? And she realizes it's an Israelite boy, right? And so she knows. Right? What did her dad decree? That all the Israelite boys had to be thrown into the river. But instead of having him thrown into the river, she wanted to keep him. Right? But then something even crazier happens. Miriam, who's watching from, from some side of the river, right? She sees the Pharaoh's daughter, and instead of being afraid and running, she actually goes up to her. Because the Pharaoh's daughter found this kid. She didn't want to get rid of him. So Miriam came up and said, I know someone who can take care of that kid for me. So what ends up happening is Miriam takes the baby back to Jochebed. So the baby's mom gets to raise the kid for the princess of Egypt. So she ended up getting to keep it. So what can we learn from this, right? There is a lot of courage going on in this story, right? First, Jochebed, the baby's mom, had to have a lot of courage to break the law and hide the baby for so long. It also probably took a lot of courage and a lot of faith, right? To be able to put that river, the baby down the river and trust that something good will happen to it. And then we have Miriam, right? Miriam had a lot of courage. Can you imagine going up to like a princess or somebody and being like, hey, I can help you. Like, that would seem really scary. And so did the Pharaoh's daughter, right? Keeping a baby she wasn't supposed to. Right? She was breaking the rules, too. So, everything worked out right, though, because of the courage, right? Because Jochebed had courage to send the baby down the river, she ended up getting to raise him. Because Miriam had courage to go speak to the Pharaoh's daughter, then... Her little brother was saved, right? Because Pharaoh's daughter had courage to break the rules, the baby was also saved. So let's take a look here in Exodus chapter 2, verse 9. It says, Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby, nurse him for me, I'll pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. So the cool thing here is that not only did Jochebed get to keep her baby, she got paid to keep her baby. And I don't know about y'all, but like, Moms don't get paid to keep their babies. So getting paid, like that's a bonus, like because of their courage, they got some awesome things, right? So the story goes, right? The king is threatened by these people. And so he decides he's going to take drastic measures. And he's going to end up killing all of the baby boys, right? And Jochebed and Miriam had several options. 
They could just give the baby up, right? They could just say, he's too much trouble. I'm just going to give him up and call it rules. But they didn't, right? They could have kept hiding him. They didn't have courage to move him around, so they could have just kept hiding him. But he probably would have been found eventually. So they took this third option, right? They, they had the help of God. They had courage that God would do what had to be done. And the baby ended up being saved, right? I love this story because you get to see what happens when we have courage, right? Also, that's not the only time of courage, right? In the New Testament, in Acts, after Jesus has died on the cross and he's been resurrected, there's the apostles, right, who are with Jesus, and they go out and spread the gospel. But a lot of people didn't like it, right? They didn't like it so much that they would kill you if you said that you believed in Jesus. But the apostles had courage, right? They were brave enough to do what they should, even when they were afraid. The apostles were afraid. They didn't want to die, right? But they had courage to do it. And that's why we're here today. That's why we have the church today, guys, because the apostles had enough courage to do what they had to do. They trusted God. And he provided, right? So we tend to shy away from the right thing, right? It takes courage. Sometimes we're not brave enough. We're too scared. We're afraid we'll get in trouble. Someone will say something mean to us. Or that maybe your parents won't understand, right? Fear can make us not do things, like I said before. It can make us not stand up to that bully. It can make us not talk to our friend whose feelings we hurt. So, we all face it, right? We all face the fear. Um, but when we face fear, right, we know that there's a right path. That's why we're afraid. There's always a right path that we're afraid of. We know which one to take. But it takes courage, like what we're talking about. So, it may be hard. No one said being courageous and brave was easy. It's going to be really hard. But as you practice it and as you trust God to take care of you, courage gets easier, right? So think about the question. Up on the screen right now, before we go into small groups, what do you guys worry about? Maybe it's your grades. Maybe it's your parents or your siblings. Maybe it's people at school, maybe it's sports, whatever it is. What are you worried about? And then, what are you missing out on? What are you missing out because you're afraid? What's something important? Whose life can you impact because you're afraid, right? So, I'm going to pray now. We're going to go into small groups. So let's pray. Yeah, thank you for this day. Um, thank you that you give us courage, that even when we're scared and we're afraid, we don't quite know what to do, that you... Give us the plan and the place we need to go. Lord, help us to trust you to be brave, to have courage, and to do things that we're missing out on. I pray this in your name. Amen. Amen.